You ready for day two? <laughs> Let's do it. We survived day one I'm like glad. a piece of cake. I know, and I'm so glad we came in super early because yeah. these people all stayed up to like, I don't know, it seemed like maybe one or two. They're young. Can't do it. I'm Can't old. do it. <laughs> I'm old and I was on the tractor for hours. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah. But today's a new day. <laughs> Getting my comments done. Might get cleaned up a little. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> Maybe this is who I'm going to be today. You a character a costume, from the but... 80s. A character from the 90s. I think I've been a character since I was born. Really? I think Stating that's what my mom so. said. That's what my mom said. She goes, you are such a character. <laughs> is that what she told you? <laughs> Every time. Oh, gosh. And then, she, and then she said, now go talk to your dad so he can whip your butt. <laughs> and we'll see what kind of funny butt. character you are now. <laughs> Uh oh, now you just baby bring back old memories. Oh, babe. Now you got me cracking up. Now I got a headache. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to have to see these guys how they do. We'll, well see if they last till 1.30 again. Oh, they will. I know they will. I'm going to give it my best shot. <laughs> Anyways, we just got up. Well, no, we've been up since 7, but I'm still in my, <laughs> my run around in the morning outfit. Yeah, me too. Um... They seem to be up, moving yep. around. Well, when you have dogs, you have to get up and take care That's of your true. animals. Very Most everybody true. has yeah. animals here. Uh, I haven't seen Aja yet, though. Anyways, they stayed up doing karaoke. <laughs> I kept hearing some howling out there last night. I thought it was called Carrie Chokey. <laughs> <coughs> no. I don't I play that game. Pumpkin's like, what was that? Did you hear that howling last night, too? Yes, you did, didn't you? <laughs> She's like, I couldn't sleep last night, Mama. I thought the coyotes were coming in. <laughs> karaoke always sounds bad when you're not right there. Uh, well, karaoke just sounds bad. Or if you haven't drunk enough. <laughs> yeah. We didn't do any drinking last it night. It just ah, always just sounds really bad when you're when you're away from it and you can't hear the actual mute the the music part of it, right. the instrument part of it. Right. All you hear are people singing off tune. <laughs> you know what just scared me? If our friends here are still here and they see this video. I don't care. They all know how I you feel. You guys were about... awesome. Oh, my God. Aja, <laughs> now, out of the park. They all Jason, know how Jennifer, I feel. out of the park. No. Eric, yes. out of the park. Yeah. Susan, out of the park. Everybody else who's saying, please get out yes. of the park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you making a funny this morning. Well, they all know how I feel about karaoke. I know. I usually do not participate in karaoke unless I'm really, really intoxicated, which doesn't happen often. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie karaoke. <laughs> yeah. uh, You've done karaoke a couple times. Get stuff and make me some food. While I'm <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like I told you, my mom said I was a character. <laughs> yeah, he's real funny. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm going to pay for that <laughs> one later. <laughs> Uh, I'm on my second cup of coffee, though, because I've got, um, Scotty, can can you see the top of my head? Uh, yeah. You have your glasses on, just so you know. Okay, good deal. Yeah. Now, now you know see. where they're at. <laughs> okay, so this morning, actually, we got a, somebody texted on our group chat. It was, I think it was uh, Jimmy. Wasn't was it somebody at four something this morning? Oh, that was no, that other was day. the yeah. other day. Um, I think it was Jimmy this morning, and then I went to look at it and it was all deleted, so I don't know what was going on, but it woke me up. Once I'm up in the morning, I can't go back to bed. Anyways, um, I am doing Aja's appetizers and my appetizers, and get out of there, fly! You can't be a part of this. Um, and. I'm going to do two for two. I'm going to do three appetizers. I guess I'll just say it that way. I wanted to uh, relieve Aja of having to do anything um, food wise. She's got people she's, you know, going to entertain. So, uh, company. Um, I'm making three really super easy appetizers. Um, I always say that one of these appetizers is one that you could um, do if you're not a cook and you don't like to cook. This is so simple. Pick up a pack of 
the Knorr vegetable recipe mix. Dump it in a bowl. Take 16 ounces of your sour cream. Dump that in there. This is just so simple. I love this recipe and everybody loves this. I mean, this is the one appetizer you can bring to a party and it's always gone. Unless your entire party doesn't like uh, spinach. <laughs> that could happen, but I've never had it happen. And then you're going to do a cup of mayo. I would not recommend doing, uh, uh, what is that cool, what is that other kind of mayo? I would just stick to regular mayo. Let's just put it that way. You don't want a, you don't want a salad dressing type mayo. Miracle Whip. I used to love it oh. with a bologna sandwich on oh, white yeah. bread yeah. when miracle I was little. Whip. Yeah, Miracle Whip. I have to tell you guys a funny story. That I've got one fly in here that just won't leave me alone this morning. Funny story this morning. So I'm sitting here and I'm kind of getting all my stuff out. And last night my girlfriend came in here and she had some watermelon. And uh, it had black seeds. And I don't usually buy watermelon with black seeds. But Paul and Ellie... Uh, Paul, what is his channel's name? Do you know? I Paul I'm, Berger. Okay. So if you want to see, he's he used to have a bread truck, and uh, he's got a channel. You can go over. I'll put a little link up here if I can find the link to his channel, his uh, his channel, YouTube channel. But anyways, they were so sweet. They brought me this huge. And this was big, like you know, big old watermelon. Um, but Shatara, my friend, <laughs> she wanted some fruit last night, so I said, "Hey, I've got watermelon." Um, and they brought, bought me that because I have high altitude, you know, sickness. And that really does help because it's got electrolytes in it. Um, anyway, so she was eating right here. I, I wiped the counter off and everything, but somehow one of those little black seeds got stuck on the counter. This morning I came in and I looked at it and I went, Ooh, like that. And I got it on the floor cause I thought it was a mouse turd. <laughs> and I went down and picked it up and I realized it was a watermelon seed scared me though because we've been really fortunate and not had any problems with mice in our house even when we were gone we were so fortunate matter of fact i think paul came over every day and and did something with the doors outside just to make noise and stuff oh, that's, so yeah yeah okay so that in there then i just have a frozen block of I don't know how big that is. It's just this size here. It's just a block of, uh, I already ripped off the thing, of spinach. The directions used to be on the back of this. Now just go online and look up Nor spinach dip and it will give you the directions. Super easy. Anyway, so in goes the spinach. Make sure that you drain it real well because when it's frozen it's got a lot of uh liquid in it so you gotta drain it anyways and then um you're just gonna do three green onions i'm gonna do the whole thing all the way up to the end just clean them i just take off the outer layer this is just so simple i love this recipe and it never goes to waste. It's always it's always the one bowl that's completely empty. Okay, so three green onions. You could save a little. I've actually got another one in there, and I'll probably cut one more up, slice it up like you know, like that. Sprinkle it on top. Okay, then a whole can of water chestnuts. You can get them any way you want, uh, sliced, diced. I don't know. I don't think they come diced, but they do come whole. So I just go along and rough cut it. I don't like this knife for doing things like that. So much easier. But do you see why this is such a great uh, appetizer if you're not someone that knows how to cook well? Or if you just don't have time, this is so simple. It's just one of the most simplest recipes I know. You're going to want to let this, 
You guys, I didn't even check to see if you could even see what I was just doing. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, okay, that's a good. I have you guys propped up on my chair today. I usually put you guys right here, point you down, but I thought that would be better today. All right, so you're gonna want to mix this really well. Of course, I put my seasonings all the way at the bottom. <laughs> That's all right. You wanna let this sit for, I don't know, at least an hour because they give you five peas. <laughs> Scotty and I were laughing about it this morning. There's five little peas in there and those are all uh, dehydrated or hydrated, dehydrated vegetables probably in here so you you can serve it right off there but somebody's gonna hit the one of those five peas and break their tooth so <laughs> make sure breakfast for the champions <laughs> yeah you know oh yummy yummy my, my freaking mouth is watering oh it's yeah. so good i love that mm. super super mm. simple you got your own factory going on over here <laughs> yeah yeah just Enjoying life here. All work. right. Let me tell you what's going on here. <laughs> you want to tell them what's going on here? Where did this come from? A friend that owned a restaurant. And so that's cling wrap. And, and I just ran out of it on my little roll. So Scotty's filling my little roll. Yes. From the big roll. But you know what I really like that I got from the restaurant friend? Yeah, foil. It was the aluminum foil. We had foil for three years. <laughs> and it was about that big. It probably weighed 50 pounds. Yeah, but... we we had foil for, it was, it was about three years. Yep. All right, I hear the rain again. Me too. So we've got, we've got people in our little area here. Jen, a lot of you guys know Jen. The leprechaun. She's right there. And then most of the people are on the other side over by the girls, the chickens. Um, that's where the main people are. All right, so Scotty's doing that. You know, by the time this roll's empty, when we get to the end of it, I'll figure out the proper way to do I this. I know, really. It's but fine. That's okay. I don't I mind. did it last time, and I just stuck it on the counter and just kept feeding it on there, rolling, feeding. It lasts for a while once we do it, so. Well, this might be. But... You know, that's just so expensive. Why throw that away? And I, I can't pull that out of the drawer every single no. time. But so. what I wouldn't give for one of those aluminum rolls. <laughs> I know. That was forever. All right. So, let's see. Now I've got going on a uh, veggie ranch roll, uh, pinwheels. I hope this uh, rain hurries up and goes away. So it will dry up out there. I got a block of cream cheese. It's been softening um, on the counter here. It's still a little, still a little hard, but it's been sitting out long enough that I can work with it. And then one third cup sour cream. I'm just going to do a cheap pack of the Great Value Ranch. You make your own. I know it's high in sodium, so make your own if you're. If you want, this is what I'm doing. And I'm only going to do, uh, let's see if I can, uh, I'm going to do two tablespoons of it. So not a whole pack. There's still a lot in there. Two green onions, one really big carrot, diced really fine broccoli florets and one red onion or I'm sorry one uh, red uh, bell pepper and then I don't know maybe two cups of sh uh, shredded cheese I might not use all of that if I do then that's good but now I can put it back in the fridge and then I just got baby spinach I'll take all of that you can layer it however you want I just feel like if you put it all in one container, mix it up really well, then when you put it on your tortilla, you get a nice even spread of veggies. Super simple. All the appetizers I'm making today are really simple. 
And the reason I did that is that uh, I, one, I didn't know if I was going to stay out late last night and party with everybody. And I thought if I got to get and make appetizers and not fill up that hot, then these would be super easy. Are you going to give me some of your babies? Okay. So we'll do half, uh, half cup. Mm. You want a really thin layer, guys. Don't don't put too many on. I'm sure you guys have made a lot of you have made these before. They're super easy to make. They're lots of people like it. You can put meat in here if you want. Uh, or not. It's up to you. And you can leave the cheese off if you don't want the cheese. You don't have to do spinach either if you don't want to. And I'm just going to do one line of those. I'm going to break off the little stem. It's already tender uh, spinach, but... So something I was doing is every little appetizer I made, I put a little bit into the refrigerator. And that way when you ever come home from a party and you're like, you made something to take, you get home and go, gosh, I wish I would have had some <laughs> more of that. Scotty and I do that often when we come in and we're like, oh, do we have any leftovers? So I've taken little containers and just left a little of each stuff that I made in the fridge. All right, I'm going to put a little glue here just so it stays shut okay all right I'm gonna do these all up and then when I get to this part uh, with all of them I'll come back and show you guys what I'm gonna do so I have one more appetizer <laughs> you guys we all got busy talking through the window with everybody outside and I'm I got these rolled up got them done I got four of them so I got one here and then these three but I didn't even realize what time it was it's already noon you guys and pictures are at 5 30 my costume and all of that and getting ready is gonna take just a little bit of time so these are gonna go in the fridge just like this a uh, few hours right before I get ready to put them on the platter I'll slice I'll take them out I'll slice and this is holds them to make them hold together better okay that one is done and this is my final uh, appetizer so I'm just putting together just some skewers with uh, Oh, two different types of olives. You can use whatever kind you like. My green ones are stuffed with garlic. Super good. Uh, cherry tomatoes of any type. Um, spinach. I This is baby spinach. The I had the package out here a little bit earlier. I took all the little stems off. And I also had a can of uh, artichoke hearts marinated and I just come in and take the top off of those so I can grab just a chunk of them and then I took uh, frozen tortellinis cheese just this uh, cheaper version super good ready in three minutes however I did not cook them three minutes I did about two minutes then I just took them off drained them and let them sit and they cook the rest of the way the way that I need them to be and then I just made up a little bit of pesto with some Italian seasoning uh, or Italian dressing mix that up and I just after they dry a little bit dry out a little bit from the moisture I just dipped each little piece into this liquid here into the uh, oil and pesto or Italian dressing and pesto just the end pieces don't don't I don't dunk them all the way, but just enough to just get a little tiny bit of flavor on them. And then mozzarella balls, and then I have salami, and uh, that's it. Take that one, and you try to put it in an order, but sometimes it, you know, sometimes it doesn't really matter. 
for the spinach, make sure that when you fold it, you do the shiny side out of the spinach. It will just look better. Okay. And then come in here. See how I cut that bigger piece off? Let's do that. The tortellini. Like that. Now I just fold my salami like that. Put that on there. Sometimes you got to push them down a little bit so you can get everything on there. And then I usually put another piece of spinach on there. Oops, get on there. And one more piece of salami for them. And I get it cut thin so that I can fold it just like that. Okay, you can come back in and put an olive on there. You could put, you know, more if you want. But that's about, it's enough for them to grab it. And then that way. All right, guys, we have a full house. So the party was canceled. Hello, girls. Somebody didn't get the notice. Somebody just showed up over here at the center camp with the costume on. I know we saw that. Um, so we had a cancellation. We canceled the party because it was pouring down rain. Everything outside is wet. So we're going to do it tomorrow, but some people just didn't get the notice. So everybody ended up here at our house. I was going to have some cocktails and who knows what else. Jen wanted to have a, a pajama party. Why <laughs> not? We should have done that and then had popcorn and watched movies. I don't know. And then whatever appetizers. Right? I know I cooked all those appetizers. Oh, well. So we're going to do it tomorrow. It'll be nicer weather. It's the birthday girl. She was fully dressed. Great job, Oz. Birthday party. She was fully dressed. I know. Who was that? Butterfly didn't get. Oh, Bruce was dressed too. He didn't get the message. Oh shit. Oh no. Did Bruce leave? He went back to go take his costume off, and he's coming back over here. Oh okay. All right.